been here in quite a while so I'm excited to go see what I can find. Let's go check it out. Hi guys, there's a fan blowing so I'm just gonna show you and not talk because well I've done this many times before. Looks like these have been here quite a while. Look at that cute little baby mammalaria. So many of them are struggling. I'm not surprised. Not surprised. Oh, those are banana ones. Nothing new. Hmm. Let me go check to see if I find anything here. It's super, super sad. Right across from Home Depot, we have, I mean, not Home Depot, I'm sorry. Lowe's were super, super sad. And across from Lowe's, we have a Home Depot. So I'm gonna go in here and see what I find. Okay, this looks so much better here. So look at that organization. Look at this. This Home Depot is my favorite Home Depot and it's always, always organized. So let me look over here first. Let's see what we found here. These are by Costa Farms right here. Are these here? Looks like they just got these in. That's the, um, I got a cutting from this in that box that I just recently did, the unboxing. does not have a name. I really love who Worth is now. I also like this this um, with the pink edges. I always say I'm going to get it, but I never do. Because <laughs> I'll be like, oh, I find another plant that I want more than that one. So, we'll see. I'll keep that little one in mind. So, it looks like um, someone came recently and cleaned up. Which is good. See? Look at that. Looks so nice and neat very very good and these tables are new but look at that they look so pretty wow and they're in plastic so it might be um more inexpensive this is by coast of farms let me look at the price i love that green thing where's your price buddy it's gotta be somewhere in here hold on I know this has a price. Oh, I guess they're free this week. They have no barcode at all. Zero, not in the tag, not anywhere. So I don't know how they're gonna know what the price is. Oh, here it is finally, one, $20. This is really pretty though. You get one, two, three, four, five big size plants for 20 bucks. It looks simple but really pretty at the same time. I love this plant right here. I need to get me some of that. See how pretty it is? Look, this is different. This one is thicker. It looks super pretty. I like that. Look at how thick these are. It's like a cluster. They remind me of the banana plant, but like a cluster of it instead of trailing down. These don't look so good in here. I mean, I'm not surprised it's shoved in the dark in there. Look at this. What is that? Oh, it's a big old Lola bug. She's not doing too good. It's big though. $10. Oh, look at that, that weird plant. You see that? around. 
or 16. A little tortured. Look at these. these they're pretty big. The interior autumn plane. These are super cute. Oh, well, maybe you can get a discount. Mm -hmm. That's a fish with a mouth open. Uh, what is this? A swan, a chicken. So cute. These look nice. Um, they look fairly new as well. Some of them. Maybe they're not. Maybe they just look good. Some of these look a little burnt. Oh, they're really pretty. Those are dirty. Um, look at these. The Chiveria Dusty Rose and Neon Breaker. $13. All these big ones. This one's $10. This is Tasha. Really pretty. Pretty fountain. They have. I'm gonna check the other side where they have um, like a little bit of more. Like I've never seen the sedum bloom. Oh no, is it? Are they? Yeah. Are these are their blooms or these are somebody else's blooms? <laughs> like yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't think is there. Do sedums bloom? Hmm. Yeah, it has to be. I see it all over unless. Unless during um, when they were shipping and fell, I don't know. Look at these. This is six seventeen dollars. Not bad. Just gotta find a one that really looks really good, or maybe um, switch them out. You could switch them out. I don't think it's a big deal because you're you know trying to buy the best one. It's not your fault that they don't all look good. But yeah, it's a good rarity in there. That's pretty good. Home Depot. Um, Lowe's was a bummer. And um, Home Depot was good. Very organized. Very nice. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with Home Depot. That is my favorite Home Depot. So I am in my front yard. So today, me and my daughter are going to tackle a project that needs to be done really bad. Over here, this looks pretty sad. Maybe not from far away, but very up close. It looks really sad. There's not a lot of color. Just green and yellow going on. And I need some pop of color. So these i think they're called cortons it's c-o-r-t-o-n um no yeah Cro croton croton c-r-o-t-o-n they can handle um sun and the more sun they get uh the more beautiful colors will come out look at this beautiful leaf a lot of color i do have one of these over here in my ugly side don't look, don't judge don't judge there's a lot to take care of in a house when you own a property it's just a lot going on look at this monstrous thing do you see this mm-hmm how many you got how many of you have one of these yeah I have a huge one <laughs> so yep she's a beauty and she's huge so anyways she's been here for years but yeah, I have this one. She's been doing really well there forever. So it grows like a bush. You can control the growth. So anyways, I'm going to clean up my area here. Make it nice and neat. And then also clean this up a little bit. Oh, I did also get this beauty. And what made me want to buy her. First of all, I got five plants for 20 bucks. That is a great deal. This one right here. That's what made me buy her unfortunately i can't put her up here not over there which that's where i would like to display her um because it is not exposed to the sun it was in inside the home depot building where there was not even filtered light there's no filtered light where where it was so um i would have to gradually introduce her to you know the sun only morning sun and i don't know where i would put her i need to figure out plants because right now during um, this time of the year, 
I'll get morning sun here and afternoon sun, burning, scorching sun. So uh, I'm constantly moving this around, trying to figure out what will do well there. Um, this is fine. <laughs> but yeah, I need, I just got that too. Um, yesterday I got this one. I got her because she has, she's going to flower. She's got little buds there. She's going to flower. So hopefully I'll be able to catch that. But yeah, I'm struggling to figure out what to do because half of the shelf gets morning and afternoon sun and half of the shelf doesn't. So I'm going to have to come up with some ideas of um, some plants that maybe I have in the backyard that have been um, already established and have been handling the sun. I don't know. I have to look. I have to look. But I'm super proud, super proud of these three arrangements here. This is a good example of um, what I think might be, let me not jinx myself, right? So today I'll tell you the plant, the, the arrangement's doing well, and then next week it'll rot on me. But this arrangement has been handling all of the rain very, very well. I don't see any issues. Some leaves at the bottom, but that's normal. I don't see the whole, you know, like from the top normally I expect it like you know to start um, rotting all the way I don't see that happening with these so um I think it's gonna do good this one she's the oldie bro beauty I've had her already maybe for going on three years this one but not in this pot I had her in another pot um, I recently I think more than six months put her in this pot and she's doing super well she's multiplying and growing i'm so proud of her i love looking at her and then remember when i showed you my sister-in-law's plants i told her hers get a lot of sun but then i was wondering wait at some point it's getting some shade because hers is not like this look at the, the colors on there that's some pastel colors really pretty she's my only one that looks like that and it's because right now so during um, the fall and winter up here, this rarely gets sun. But right now during this time, it's getting morning sun and afternoon sun. So yeah, that's what's been happening here. So um, yep, look at this uh, Echeveria lilacina. She's strong, sturdy there. And then look at how the stress colors on these, very pretty. So it's doing really well. This one too, it's doing really well. Um, looks good. This one does not get as much water as the other one because this one's right under or overhang. And I can tell that it needs more water because these leaves, or the way they look here, all tripled in, it needs more water. So I'm gonna water that. And um, this cactus is doing beautifully. Very, very good. Love this arrangement. I'm really happy with the plants in the front. I'm gonna give you an example of, um, so I'll tell you, these leaves here, well, not, they're not leaves, they were leaves at one point, but these plants right here, they've been here for a year and they're that small, but you know why they're that small? Because Look, here's another one. Look at that. A random Echeveria. Just growing right there. Um, the reason that they're small is because they were not getting a lot of sun. Now, during this time, they are. Um, I don't know. I guess they'll grow now. But they've been there forever, and they look the same all the time. The size is not like my other ones. And then this arrangement I'm super proud of has been doing super well. I haven't turned on the fountain in a while. It's probably empty anyways. The water's probably gone. But look at that rainbow bush. It looks really, really nice. And my cactus here, very nice. It's, getting, it's been getting morning and afternoon sun, so maybe I might get a chance to actually see this one flower. So yeah. But anyways, back to this, guys. So this is what I'm going to do with my girl. So I'm going to make this look really nice and then get back to you guys. Hey guys, so we are all done. This is what it looks like. I love the color. And the more sun it gets, the more color it gets. Um, 
I know in fall this gets a little bit less sun, but during this time it does get some morning sun and afternoon sun. But um, yeah, now I feel like now this one looks pretty because of this one. You know, this is making those pop. Uh, before it looked, I don't know, it just didn't look good. It was just, it looked messy. And now I feel like because of this, it gave it like a formation. I don't know if I'm explaining that right. But yeah, that's what it looked like. Let me show you guys my agaves, how well they're doing up here. I planted these in here and they look really, really well. They look good. They're doing good. They're loving it up here. So I'm excited. Look, I see a baby. This one is so pretty. So, so pretty. It's doing really well. I can't even remember where I got it. I know I did not buy it. I know I got it as a gift. And I don't know. And this one as well. Like a purchase. I don't know. Like I don't know how I got it. That one was a gift. Too. Actually, all these were gifts. <laughs> oh, no. I did pay. I'm sorry. Look, I'm all over the place. I did pay for this one out of yard. So now I remember. But that one my mom gave me. This one, I can't remember where it came from, but it's beautiful. And this one I got um, with a purchase, gift with purchase. And look at how beautiful it is. And it grows really quickly. I just, I love the shape of this one. You see the shape? It has twists, like, you know, curves. Let me see something in here. Oh, look, 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 look. You see? So I'm going to show you a sign of mealybugs. I'm going to take care of that right now. But when you start seeing, when you notice um, soil like that, disturb, the uh, ants are making nests. Ants breed. Um, they breed. Hmm, no, cultivate. That's the right word. Ants cultivate mealybug. And look, I just, look at that big one right there. And look at the ants. They're like, yes, give me some of your sap and I'll take care of you. And there's another one right down there. So I'm going to take care of that. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pour some alcohol on this. And alcohol is going to kill it right away. I notice when I pour alcohol on it, they turn red and they're done. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but I'm not going to let it um, be in the sun. I have to take it and put it in the shade. So let's see if I see more over here. See those ants? Your ants, people. They, I remember in the beginning when I first started my succulents, and um, I don't know what I said about you know ants. Like maybe I was getting like a, a spray to spray the ants, and they were like, "But why? But ants don't do nothing to your plants." Well, unfortunately, they do. And they can go hang out somewhere else. But not in my plants because they're gonna kill my plants. They're gonna bring mealybugs and kill them. Kill my plants. This one's good. So only that one. See these? You see no soil gathered around there. There's not any soil in there. Also this one. There is no no soil gathered. I just pulled my big one that I had over here. I'll show you right now. I put it over here in the shade. Let me show you. She's in the shade over here because I poured alcohol all over her and sprayed it with alcohol because she has soil all over her. And when I put it, when I pulled the dead leaf out, there were so many mealybugs. There's a colony in there. Another thing to show you a sign of mealybugs. So if you see these two things. The ants, you know, and them doing um, with the soil. Let me show you. There was a leaf here. The leaves will deform. They'll get a weird shape. I don't know if I pulled the leaf out. I might have pulled. Mm, let me see. It's probably on this side. That's why. Probably the leaf in there. Yep. Okay. You see that leaf, how curved it is in there? That's a deformity. And that deformity is called, caused by mealybugs. So, actually there's another one under here. See, it's deformed. It's all, where is it, where is it? Right there, it's all twisted. It's all twisted. 
and um, that's caused by mealybugs. Is that mealybugs? See, let me see. I know there's 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 a spider there. Sorry, spider. I try not to spray the spider, but it might have gotten some alcohol in there. But um, hold on. Sorry, guys. Yep, I sprayed it lots and lots, and I'm gonna be inspecting this. Hey guys. So I had initially finished the video, but I want to show you guys something. So when you look at this plant here, um, this one I showed you earlier, that I told you I found so many bugs. Um, it looks good, right? Except for, I told you, a deformity of leaf and then so soil get being disturbed and gathered at the bottom. So I started to look here and trying to pull out leaves. This plant is so sensitive, it, it breaks so easy. I mean, it is a sign um, that it is, um, you know, healthy, but yes. Let me just show you here. Where is it? Where is it? You see that? That is an infestation. I'm going to try to pull this out. Hopefully not disturbing the other ones, but I'm going to try to pull this out and show you guys. Wow, guys. I am so, like, grossed out. Do you see this? It is all the way down to the roots, guys. All the way down. So these are red because the alcohol got to them. But this is all the way down to the roots. This is a colony of bugs. Wow, wow, wow. A colony of mealy bugs. I cannot believe it. I'm like so grossed out. Oh my gosh. It's all over this poor plant. Um. I'm going to remove all of this. I'm going to hose it down, remove all these bugs, and just see what's left of it. But the plant is still healthy. It looks very healthy on the outside. But look at that. Oh, my poor plants. I did not want to disturb these plants because they've been doing so well. So I don't know um, what, how I'm gonna, what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to remove as much as I can from here and look to see what I see. And then um, go decide what to do because these roots are established already so I just don't know um, what to decide so yeah I'm gonna have to just see I might have to just pull it out you know I don't know we'll see hey guys I'm just gonna end this video real quick just to show you an update I did end up pulling all these plants I did find some mealybugs. I treated them and I'm gonna let them sit here air dry like this. Their roots are through here. And then in a couple days, I will pot them up. Um, I will inspect them really good and then pot them up and put them in my greenhouse. This one as well, I was able to um, clean it up really well. And um, I don't see any more mealybugs, but I will inspect it before I pot it again. And these babies as well. But for now, they'll sit here for a couple days in my greenhouse like this through these cracks that I have here. I'll put it there. This doesn't get, this gets bright light, not direct sun. This side does get direct sun. So they'll be fine here. Um, and that's it, guys. That was my dilemma today. I thought it was only a little bit of mealybugs. And then when I pulled that sucker out, it was infested. So, yeah. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye, guys.